Monsieur le Chancelier, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter Madame Farah Alibé, titulaire d'un doctorat en génie aérospatial, brillante praticienne de cette discipline et ardente promotrice de la diversité dans les domaines de STIM. Have you ever wondered about the origins of the universe or whether there's life on other planets? Dr. Alibé spends her days, sometimes her nights, working on high-profile missions to help us answer these old-age questions and better understand our place in the cosmos. Né à Montréal et élevé à Joliette, au Québec, Madame Ali Bay se souvient d'avoir été inspirée dans sa jeunesse par la résolution créative de problèmes et de travail d'équipe des ingénieurs dans le film Apollo 13. But working at NASA seemed more like staff of the movies, not a place for the Canadian French-speaking daughter of immigrants from Madagascar. Still, she followed her father into engineering, and she did well. After her bachelor's and master's degree in aerospace engineering at the University of Cambridge, she went to MIT to complete a PhD in system engineering, a field that makes her a self-described jack-of-all-trades among engineers. Then, after an internship at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, followed by two at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. She was elated to join the laboratory full-time in 2014. Madame Alibé a contribué à six missions d'exploration planétaire, dont deux atterrissages sur Mars. Dans ces mots, son rôle dans la mission Perseverance sur la planète rouge était de surveiller à ce que l'astromobile ne se perde pas. L'an dernier, elle a publié son premier livre, Mon année martienne, dans lequel elle raconte les mois frénétiques qui ont précédé ces missions historiques. Dr. Alibé is currently the lead flight system engineer for SphereX, an infrared telescope expected to be launched in 2025. An exceptional woman in a predominantly male field. Dr. Alibé frequently gives talks and interviews and mentors students to inspire the next generation. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Conseil d'administration et du Sénat de l'Université, j'ai le privilège et l'honneur de vous présenter Madame Farah Alibé, afin que vous lui desserviez un doctorat S. Science Honoris Causa. I'd like to congratulate Dr. Ali Bey and ask her to address the convocation. Monsieur Chancelier, Monsieur le Recteur, invité d'honneur, chers diplômés, parents et amis, quel bonheur de recevoir cet honneur aujourd'hui. Je tiens à remercier le comité de sélection et l'université pour ce doctorat honoris causa. C'est un moment très spécial que je suis chanceuse de pouvoir partager avec ma famille qui est là quelque part cet après-midi. Mais avant tout, je voulais vous féliciter, vous, chers étudiants et étudiantes, pour tout ce que vous avez accompli pour être ici aujourd'hui. Je suis convaincue que la route n'a vraiment pas été facile. Aujourd'hui, c'est un moment de joie. J'espère que vous aussi avez la chance d'être célébrés par vos êtres les plus chers. Dans vos célébrations aujourd'hui, n'oubliez pas de dire un petit merci à tous ceux qui vous ont aidé pendant ces dernières années, que ce soit les sacs de linge qui ont été magiquement lavés, les soupers qui ont apparu sur votre bureau pendant que vous travaillez, les papiers scientifiques qui ont été relus pour corriger les fautes d'orthographe. Aujourd'hui, c'est aussi un moment pour célébrer 
tous vos plus grands supporters. The ceremonial hooding just now reminded me of my own PhD hooding, which was just about 10 years ago now. I was just in your shoes. I was on top of the world, as I'm sure you all are today. University for me had been a long road. It started with mental health challenges and profound failures. As a woman of color, I found myself severely underrepresented in my field. There weren't many students, professors, or professionals that looked like me or that understood the trials I was going through. My first year, I failed many of my exams and often thought about quitting. But along the way, I discovered how to ask for help, how to work with other students to get through those seemingly impossible homework assignments, and that really engineering was about working together to create something that's greater than ourselves. Slowly, I started to feel more at home and academic success ensued. Truly, my degree taught me more about teamwork, leadership, and picking myself back up in the face of failure than it ever really did about Bode plots, Quaternion math, or Jacobi polynomial. I'm not quite sure I even remember what those are. Um, I'm sure that many of you recognize yourself in my story. You didn't get here today without facing some kind of challenge. And you might think that this is the end of a long and tortuous road, the accomplishment you've been dreaming of for years. Well, you know what the best part is? This is just the beginning of an incredible journey. Take a pause and look at the people around you. These are the people that you're going to change the world with. Just no pressure. In all seriousness, though, I am so excited for you. You're about to enter the fantastic world of engineering where you can literally make all your ideas come true. And spoiler alert, it's going to be a ton of fun. In my career so far, I've gotten to fly serial box size satellites into interplanetary space, build and operate a rover destined to study whether there's ever been life on Mars, and be part of the team that performed the first controlled flight on another planet. Sprinkled in there has been dreaming up of future robotic missions and sharing my love of space and engineering with the world around me. When you put all that in a sentence or two, it sounds totally insane, <laughs> but I've loved every minute of it. I've always guided my career by asking myself, what's the wildest and most fun thing I could do next? And if I have one piece of advice for you today, it's exactly that. Don't worry too much and have fun. I'm going to be honest with you though, it's not always going to be easy. Your life will no longer be measured in exams, papers, and projects. Although, for those of you who have written scientific papers, that reviewer too, they stick around, they're always here. Um, whether you're going into academia or industry, deadlines will be your own and failures will be very real. The start of my career was heavily marked by discrimination and microaggressions, in addition, to, in addition to struggling with performance anxiety and dealing with the complex technical problems at work. Sometimes, challenges will seem insurmountable. After all, engineering is about making the impossible reality somehow. When those difficulties happen, remember the people around you today. Remember the light, late nights working together on projects. Remember all the challenges that you've gotten through together. That network, those teams, are there to help you get through it all. As engineers, we are team workers. We succeed together, but we also fail and pick ourselves back up together. Therefore, rely on your teams, lift each other up, and soon those mountains, they'll feel like mere hills, much more easily traversable. Finally, when you find yourself established and successful, don't forget to bring others up with you. Success in engineering, it's useless unless your others around you are thriving too. Some of the best projects I've worked on were successful, weren't successful because of our collective intelligence, but rather because we created an environment where we could all come to the table and contribute, contribute and be heard. We had a shared passion towards a common goal and we were dedicated to bring the best out of each other. I know I was part of a team that landed on a rover on Mars, but let me tell you, 
sharing knowledge, mentoring, and opening doors for others are truly the most rewarding parts of my job. Be the best role model that you've had or the one that you wish you had, and soon enough, it'll be your time to stand here and inspire the next generation of engineers. I can't wait to see you soar. Félicitations encore pour tout ce que vous avez accompli et merci pour ce merveilleux honneur aujourd'hui. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Dr. Ali Bey for stargazing and looking to the future and making a difference. And this project of hers, I think, will change the world as we know it. So I congratulate you for your illuminating remarks and for being so inspirational to the faculty. Thank you.